Unlocking Put Things to Rights, A Guide to English Phrases. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a very interesting English phrase, put things to rights. This phrase might sound a bit formal or old-fashioned, but it's packed with meaning and is incredibly useful in various contexts. Let's explore what it means, how to use it, and some examples to help you incorporate it into your everyday English. Put things to rights is a phrase that means to correct a situation, to make something orderly, or to resolve issues. It involves taking actions to restore something to its proper condition or to rectify a situation that has gone wrong. This phrase is versatile and can be used in both personal and professional contexts. The phrase, put things to rights, has a somewhat formal tone and is rooted in the idea of returning things to their correct or rightful state. It's been used in English for centuries, reflecting the importance of order, correctness, and proper functioning in societal and individual affairs. When you use this phrase, you're tapping into a long tradition of expressing the need for correction and organization. To better understand how to use, put things to rights, let's look at some examples. After a party, we'll need to put things to rights in the morning, but let's not worry about it tonight. In the workplace, the project has been off track for weeks, but I'm confident we can put things to rights with a few adjustments. In personal relationships, I know we've had our differences, but I'm committed to putting things to rights between us. These examples show the flexibility of the phrase, highlighting its use in addressing disorder, resolving conflicts, and correcting mistakes. When using the phrase, put things to rights, keep these tips in mind. Context is key. The phrase fits best in situations where there's a clear need for improvement or correction. Tone, given its somewhat formal feel, Consider your audience and whether the phrase suits the tone of your conversation or writing. Alternatives. Be aware of similar phrases like, fix things, sort things out, or make things right, which can be used depending on the formality and specific context. Thank you for joining us as we explored the meaning and usage of put things to rights. We hope this video has illuminated this phrase for you and given you confidence to use it in your own English conversations and writings. Remember, language is a tool for expression, and phrases like these enrich our ability to communicate clearly and effectively. Until next time, keep practicing and exploring the depths of the English language.